Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Ice Age. My name is Iceman, and I've got some Halo Reach gameplay for you today. Uh, this is, what is this, multi-team Crazy King on Boardwalk. Um, one of my, I guess, least favorite maps in the game, but this is an entertaining round. Uh, first game, I guess, in a while in Reach, just been messing around with it a little bit. So I do some pretty <laughs> stupid things at some points, and get some other... Uh, nice plays throughout the game, but the game's kind of just a backdrop for the commentary this time around. Um, I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about, you know, what's been going on with me and my channel lately since I haven't, you know, been posting videos. It's been a couple months since the last one I posted. Um, so yeah, just to jump right into it, I'm back on YouTube recording videos and stuff, and most of this video is going to be about kind of explaining what the heck was going on with that. So. Basically, the short story is that I didn't have a recording device anymore. Um, I had been using the Roxio Game Capture HD Pro, um, as some of you guys know, and I no longer had access to it, so now I am the proud owner of an Elgato Game Capture HD card, and it's really awesome. I like it a lot. Um, just been testing it out with some reach, and... Uh, yeah, def definitely a very good device, um, really awesome, very powerful, um, goes all the way up to 1080p HD, but you're seeing this in 720p at the max because I don't really want to record in 1080 because those video files get very large and it would take forever to upload on my internet. So uh, seven, I'm going to be sticking with 720p just like good old times. Um, yeah, so that's basically... Um, what's been going on with my recording device and the other half of it was that my Xbox actually had some issues. It wasn't the typical red ring of death, it was um, a heating error, which is a different set of red lights, but it's still kind of freaky when it shows up for the first time. And Basically, the Xbox would turn off and turn back on when I told it to, but it would only stay on for maybe two or three minutes, I guess, um, before turning itself off. So, um, I had to go pick up a new Xbox. Well, I guess I should say that it's actually still a used Xbox, but I had to go buy one anyway. So basically those two reasons are why I haven't been putting up videos. Uh, yeah, so that's the, that's the short story there. Um, wanted to make sure you guys knew what was going on, so you didn't think I was, I don't know, giving up on YouTube forever or something like that. So, got a new Xbox, got a new Elgato card. Um, Really happy to be back making videos for you guys. I um, hope you guys are going to enjoy uh, watching them again. Um, so definitely let me know. Feedback, of course, anytime. Comments, messages, whatever. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about the card itself. Um, the the Roxio card was uh, my first choice because I have one of the old Xbox models that still uses the component cables. It doesn't have an HDMI port. And the Roxio card actually has component in and component out. So um, I could just hook it straight up to the Xbox I already had and then into my TV. No other hassle or anything like that. So that's why I had the Roxio card, but it turns out that the Elgato card actually um, only has HDMI out and HDMI in, but it does have an AV in as well. And luckily the Elgato card comes with a component to AV adapter. So I can actually just plug my component cable straight into the Roxio, sorry, to the Elgato card and then just one single HDMI cable out to my TV. So it's a, it's a lot nicer, uh, much less messy than my previous setup was. So I'm really happy about that. Um, same same good quality, obviously HD quality, uh, so I was re really happy about that. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to talk about for this particular card is the software that comes with it. Uh, so the card is really awesome, the hardware itself, the software not so much. And uh, to kind of illustrate that, this is actually like my fourth time trying to record this video for you guys. and. Um, I just could not figure out what was going on because at certain points during the video the uh, screen would freeze but the audio wouldn't so every every second after that the audio and the video would not be synced together and it was really annoying me and I kept having to record new videos and whatever and finally I fixed that and it turns out that one of the features that they really are advertising for the Elgato card about 
like flashback recording, I think it's called, where you can go back kind of in time and record something even if you hadn't hit record before. That was actually kind of breaking my recording. It was slowing it down at certain points, and then I think it was like lagging to try to get catch the video back up. So anyway, I turned that off, and that's why I finally got a solid video for you guys. Um, but yeah, so the software basically doesn't come with any sort of editing capability whatsoever, but it does come with a very awesome way to create live commentaries. It lets you um, combine um, a mic connected to your computer with all of the game volume that's coming from your Xbox. Um, instead of what I had to do before, which was basically record into a program like Audacity, and record the gameplay into the gameplay software and then kind of add them together later to kind of combine them into one post commentary video but or sorry live commentary video but now it'll just take everything as uh, one stream basically and hook it all together nice and pretty for an awesome live commentary so on that note I kind of wanted to talk about uh, my channel, it's kind of like a reintroduction or an update or whatever, you know, pick your poison. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about videos that will be uh, coming up soon. Uh, if you guys hadn't noticed, um, Rage and I actually made our first Ice Cold Rage video a while ago and it's up on my channel. Um, definitely go check that out, it's just us messing around, having some fun, kicking a ton of ass. And uh, the second one is actually in the works right now, so keep an eye out for it. It'll be put up on Rage's channel sometime in the next week or so. So definitely look out for that. Um, just a really awesome series we hope to do a lot more of. And because it is a live com series, you know, it's, it'll be a lot easier for us to do now that I have a card that um, allows live commentary so easily, um, as opposed to trying to figure out all the connections and audacity and everything like I had to before so uh, definitely keep a look out for that it's really really cool series that we want to get started um, and I also want to talk a little bit about what's going to be on my channel now that the next gen consoles are coming out um, I think I'm going to be going with the Xbox One uh, I almost chose the PS4 but then once Microsoft reversed those stupid policies they had at first um, I kind of changed my mind back to the Xbox. I'm really, really excited for Destiny, uh, Battlefield 4. I'm not sure if I'm going to be getting Halo 5 yet or not. I'll have to see what they do with the game, whether I want to buy it or not. Um, just because, if, I don't know, if they change some of the stuff that they kind of messed up with Halo 4, then, you know, I'll, I'll definitely give it a try, hopefully record some of it for you guys. Um, other than that, for right now, Titanfall actually looks kind of interesting. Um, we'll have to see how that goes. Definitely let me know what you guys want to see, though, for 360 games and Xbox One games. You know, Let me know, please, uh, comments or messages, whatever. Um, and last thing, if you guys want to do any Halo custom days or anything, Halo 3, 4, Halo Reach, whatever, definitely let me know because I want to get that stuff started, too, as well, for you guys to see on the channel. So uh, that's it. Until next time, peace, love, and ice.